Hey friends, today is November 1st and Halloween is over. And although I love Halloween, I was getting kind of tired of wearing Halloween nails. So I am actually gonna do a manicure using um, the October Manny by Me um, box, the teddy bears. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I know I wanna do is on my pinky, I want to use the Canterbury and then I want to do uh, some paw prints on my pinky. And then from there, it's gonna probably be an interesting um, thing because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, but I'm gonna shake that up a little bit more. Um, so anyway, that's that's where we're at today. So I hope everybody had a great Halloween. Um, all your kids enjoyed it. If you still have kids at home, if you didn't, that you got to participate by handing out candy or whatever it is that you like to do. Maybe just stay at home and watch some scary movies. Um, so let's see. All right, so we got Canterbury here on the pinky nail and we're gonna do it on this one as well. I love this blue, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And I've been itching to do something a little bit different. So, and I know I wanna do some plaids too. And there's some plaids um, on these. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, let's see. I also want to do, um, not sh I really don't know what colors I'm going to do on all of my nails yet. Um, I'm kind of doing it as I go along. So you're going to kind of work with me on this today because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. So with that being said, um, I think I will use, so Canterbury and Tea Time are the two colors that came with this set. And then I have a whole bunch of other colors over here that I might use that I'm not sure about yet. So they're just kind of sitting over here off camera. Um, I know I want to use that, but I'm not sure how. Okay, so then we're gonna use Tea Time, I think on the next nail. Because that's, other than my thumb, that's my biggest nail. And so I want to have plenty of room for this design that I want to use. So go ahead and use tea time here. On this one. And if you caught my unboxing, you know that I'm not a fan of the flock, so I'm not going to be using that on um, this Manny today. So I am be right back. I'm just going to grab a couple of items. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to do a second coat of the Canterbury, mostly because on this one nail, I always do this. I bumped it with something, and so it's got a little smudge on it. And it probably wouldn't matter. No one would notice but me. But if I'm going to wear these, I want them to look right. Especially if I'm going to be telling people, yeah, I did these myself. Um, I want them to at least know that I'm not a complete moron. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And let those dry. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of tea time um, on these other nails as well and then that way we can pretty much think about getting started on our stamping here in just a second while I figure out what I'm going to do on the other three nails. So and I just did it on that. See I am a mess. Now I'm just going to leave that one because I'm going to stamp over it and then it'll be fine. Ah. Yeah, so now you get to see me in all of my messy glory. No matter what I do, I am always a mess. So, all right, with that being said, I want, I don't have my uh, coconut yet, so I'm gonna have to probably go with Bam White, which is really not my favorite but I'm gonna do it. And I, I believe it or not, I don't even have it out yet. 
But I'm going to get the band white out because I want to be able to do some plaid on that next nail. Because that's my whole point is I want, I want, I'm just dying for some plaids here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some BAM white on this one. And because we're going to cover it up with some stamps, it won't be quite so bad. It won't be quite so stark, I don't think. Because we're going to, like I said, use it for some plaid colors there. Maybe if I move some stuff out of the way, it'll be easier for me to plop these down without getting, not touching all of them. I don't know. Maybe if these things were a little bit longer. So if anybody's out there watching this, if you can make these little magnet things a little bit longer so you can actually put your fingers under it, that would be awesome. Just saying. Okay, there we go. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these next nails and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with them at that point. So we're gonna go ahead and go with um, Canterbury on my pointer finger. Then I'll go back and do tea time on the thumb. And then we'll figure out where we're going from there. All right, those are gonna look cute, I think, once I figure out what I'm doing. All right, welcome back. I think we're ready to go ahead and start doing um, our stamping. So I'm gonna start with the pinkies. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these little paw prints right here and I'm just gonna use the tea time. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy on that. I just wanna use the tea time. And then we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Uh, let's see, get my stampers all ready here. Everything's good to go. So I get a little tea time on here. Don't do too much, but I want to make sure we have enough. Go and roll it. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and take off the stuff we don't need here. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna take this right here and you can see how I have the inability to put these on straight. So I have to make sure that when I'm doing this again, that I'm looking at this straight on. or straight on as I possibly can. And there you go. We have got some cute little paw prints right there. So we're gonna do that on the other pinky as well. And then we're gonna see what we can come up with for the next one. Let me grab some acetone here and clean off my plate since I'm using that same design. Gotta clean, clean it off there. All right. I like to blow on it if I'm gonna use it again immediately. It's probably just overkill, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Put this one on here. Scrape, roll.
Vita. And again, same process, just put those cute little teddy bear feet down. Okay, all right. So what I wanna do next is gonna be a little bit of reverse stamping, not a lot because I am not a pro at it. Um, so I gotta go grab my, I'm never, I'm never prepared because I decided at the last minute what I'm gonna do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plate MXM 137 and we're gonna get this cute little frame right here and then we're gonna slap it on that so we're gonna do that with Canterbury I'm gonna get that right there right on this one right here straight as I can here we go and then we'll go ahead and do the other one too that way we're just staying on top of it Is where it's going to get fun and tricky, at least for me. All right, that's kind of cute. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, the different colored bear helps. So we'll do the same thing on the other side, only we'll use the boy instead of the girl. All right, so. All right, so again, we're gonna do the full teddy bear down here with um, toco to can, which is just a glittery. I just thought it would be nice to do glittery since I don't really care for the flocking. And I wanna be able to, you know, seal my work. So we'll do that and then we'll, we'll do the boy on top of this one. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll do the boy with the Canterbury. That's cute. All right, so we got those two done. Now we're gonna try and work on the 
the plaid look for this next one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I am gonna use on this same plate A1 and A2. I think those are the two I want to use to do the, um, and I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna reverse them both times. So I'm gonna do one with tea time and then Canterbury and the other one Canterbury then tea time. So just because I don't know which one I'm gonna like better and it doesn't really matter because they're my nails and I can do them both ways. Mm -hmm. There we go. Don't wanna to roll too much when you're doing lines because it will warp them. And so you really just wanna kinda of go straight down. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna grab this one. And we're gonna go straight down on this. And then I'm gonna go right next to it with the Canterbury and get these little extra lines here to put on that. These are very dainty lines. And they just kind of go over for just a little bit of color right over where the brown is. And I think I need to do this again because it didn't come off as well as I sh wanted it to. So we're gonna try that one more time. Even though they're dainty, I want a little, maybe a little bit more. up with these other um, lines that we already have. Just to kind of add that touch of blue. It's there, but you really can't see it very well. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it one more time. This it could very well be me. And who says I can't do that, right? I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on it and scrape it a little slower. I think that will help. There we go. And I'm just gonna scrape really slow. Make sure I get it into those grooves really well. Pick it up. Okay, and put it on this nail again. So now I'm going to do the same process, but reverse on the other side. So we'll want to start with Canterbury. And then come back with tea time and see how that works.
It's cute. I like that one better. But that's all right. Okay. So there we go. Figure out where we're at now on what we're doing next. I think I'll do more of a sweater on this next one. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We're gonna go for straight up plaid. And then I might add to it. There we go. You might add those red hearts in or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so here we go. We're going to put this right over the top. Go. Looks pretty good. I work better if I'd done these the other way, but it is what it is. And you just don't know until you get started. At least I don't. Some of you may be watching me and going, oh my God, that's not gonna work. But I think it looks cute. Nothing is really jumping out at me, but I think I'll do this one. cute my stamper repositioned so one thing I don't like about these stampers is that they don't stay in place and you've got to reposition them all the time Very cute, very, very, very cute. All right, so I'll look everything over, see if I want to do anything a little bit different. I don't think so. I think I'm happy enough. Um, it's a cute Manny to go into the fall with. Um, so yeah, I think I'm happy enough with that. I'm clean off my scraper card here. So it's ready for my next use, excuse me. Mm -hmm. There. All right. Now, um, for those of you who want to stick around, great. For those of you who don't, that is perfectly fine. What I'm just going to do now is I am going to uh, double dip these in. Um, actually, first I need to uh, 
smudge free top coat all of them. And then I will do my dipping. So that way they are all protected. So once I'm done with that, I will show you the finished product, but this is pretty much it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the top coat stamping. Mm -hmm. Get that smudge free top coat on there so that when I do do uh, my uh, dip coat, it doesn't mess up all my hard work, right? These are adorable. And I love a good, just old buffalo plaid type. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just go where the process takes me but I think what I'm, you know, looking at, see whether or not the image is going to fit. I do have a flexi stamper coming that I ordered, so that will help sometimes with if I want bigger or smaller designs. So. Okay, everything has a nice top coat on it now. Mm -hmm. There, very, very, very cute. So. I got a huge, it's a two ounce container of transparent or clear uh, dip from Amazon. 10 bucks. This thing is going to last me forever. I've had one of those itty bitty ones that I've been using and I've been using it a lot, but I'm only about halfway through, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and invest in a big one. That way I've got it and I don't need to wait around for it to, you know, be halfway through a manicure and realize I'm out of dip or it's so little left that I can hardly get into it. So, and I got a new pack of uh, liquids, dip powder liquids. These are my favorite, the Azure 2-in-1s. So, that up here. So, there we go. You, and of course, it comes with some orange sticks, a file, and a couple of extra brushes in case you need it, the instructions, all of that. And of course, your oops. Mm -hmm. So, your two-in-one top and base coat, and then your activator. So, all right. I love this too. It keeps it from, I don't have to worry about it spilling so much. Look at that. It's gonna be so easy to do. It's not even funny. All right, let's see, are these dry yet? 